Welcome to this installment of Talking Trim. I'm Jonathan Skinner, and today we are looking at the fully trimmed center console unit for the Jaguar E-Type open two-seater roadster and two-seater fixed head coupe. Uh, this is the early center console, which used the aluminium pattern center console with bits of material, but majority aluminium. So what we've got in here is a uh, fully trimmed up unit. So uh, customer has sent us his original framework and we have replaced it with the aftermarket aluminium polka dot pattern, as you can see there. Uh, for those of you who know, the um, early types, so these are the 3.8 litre series ones, they use the aluminium consoles and they shifted to what we refer to as the 4.2 litres where it was all sort of material instead. Um, it's worth noting there were two different versions of patterns of the aluminium. There's the polka dot, which you can get in the aftermarket. Then there was also the sort of a hatch, cross hatch pattern, which you can no longer get, but there are some originals out there. Just so we can see, we've actually got the original um, center console from this customer's car, which is again, the polka dot, obviously a bit worse for wear. So we recommended that the clients actually replace to the new aftermarket ones. Uh, this has been done in Matador Red. The majority of the bits are in vinyl. The sides, sides here and the ashtray holder there. Um, the gear lever gator is in leather, which has actually been done in our grained leather. We can offer in smooth as well if you prefer. So what we've done is we've done a whole E-type kit for this uh, customer. And then he sent us his seats, console, etc., and we've thrown them up for him. So we've only done sort of basic trimming because we haven't got all the bits, um, but we've done the, the hard parts for him and then he's going to do the rest when he fits into the car here. So let's start at the front here. You've got the, the dials, which we've still left um, in its plastic wrapping to keep it nice and protected. You then got the ashtray element, which sits in there and you get the little pull out ashtray there. So that's been trimmed as you can see all the way around there. You then have the sort of radio housing here. So a radio was fitted into this section here. You had this aluminium trimmed round. It's worth noting that the aftermarket versions are slightly too big. So you do have to uh, tinker with it to get it to fit and, and bend around, but it's an aluminium, so it's a soft metal. So fairly straightforward. You then get the speaker side bits foamed up and trimmed in vinyl. We haven't trimmed out the holes because we weren't sure what the client's doing in terms of radio, but normally you get some speakers in there with some chrome finishes going around it. So we've just floated those over easy enough to retrofit um, at your end. You get bits of piping going around the left and right sides there. It should be noted that the 3.8s use a slightly thicker piping than your standard. In fact, this is a perfect example. So we have the correct piping core thickness for the 3.8s. It is thicker than what they used elsewhere in the E-type range, so just bear that in mind. This loose bit of piping will end up going along round there. Um, no point trying to fit it now because it'll just come undone. Obviously when that gets fitted into the car there, it will clamp effectively in between. So that piece of piping will get fitted in situ with the car. So those elements there. And then obviously the main console area. So you've got the cutout for the handbrake there. You've got the framework, which is all um, steel metal, as you can see underneath. And then the aluminium is on wood, which is then clamped down onto this. And you had this gear lever opening here. Now, normally you had the gear lever gate obviously sits in there and you had a chrome finisher that goes round here that's uh, sort of pop riveted on there. Uh, we haven't got the chrome finisher on there, that's at the customer's end, so he's going to do that in situ. I'd say normally in an ideal world, you would be putting the gear leave gator on first and then doing all of this, but it's easy enough, I'd say. Uh, two people job, definitely. Then you have, again, the thick piping going around. So piping is an interesting one on these cars. You know, a lot of people think it's there for aesthetics, and I guess it is in reality, but uh, the real reason they used it was to hide the gaps in between all of their panels and things. So there is a knack to putting this piping on there to get this to fit correctly within there. We have taken a lot of photos while trimming this as we are gonna be doing a blog handbook post to show you exactly how to do that because it is a bit of a knack to get it to work correctly. Uh, but as you can see, some really nice results on those. It's lovely, um, lovely finish this aluminium. 
have to be very careful though keeping it clean and dent free but really does look nice and as you can see here the original one a bit worse for wear i guess we all are after about 50 or 60 years this is how they left the factory you can see where that surround there has been pot riveted on and taken off and then that's the you can see there the turnover which is normally they just had the tabs there but this has got that extra turnover so even the originals were slightly too big and they just tinkered with them in the factory so yeah very nice job uh, obviously we can supply the material element of this kit which is as standard part of our trim kit then an optional extra we supply the aluminium one two three four piece kit there um, or alternatively obviously you can send the bits to us we can trim them up uh, more than happy to help and guide you or your professional trimmer on the best ways of doing this like i mentioned earlier we have got a blog handbook posting or will have very shortly um, stating the best ways of trimming these items they're nowhere near as straightforward as you'd think uh, very time consuming uh, so do be sure to check that out and of course uh, please like and share and subscribe this video until next time bye